Yo, what's the crack, boys? The Dallas Mavericks are in quite an unfortunate situation. Obviously, they missed the plan, the whole plan entirely last season, 11th seed. They even started tanking towards the end. Obviously, it was looking like, yeah, you kind of have to. You got that protected pick. You kind of just tanked, Jeremy Wire. The season's over. Even if they made the plan, that's why they did end up tanking. Like, the team's not good enough to even compete. You may as well get that pick, which is a very scary situation to be in if, you know, you got a superstar like Luka Doncic, even Kyrie Irving. Obviously, he kind of has a history of switching teams, causing, you know, quote-unquote drama. Shout out Kyrie, though. Now, their off-season this year has been quite unserious. I genuinely think Luka will request a trade within the next two years. It honestly just depends how this season goes. Mavericks history with Luka has been quite interesting. Obviously, rookie year, no expectation. A few years after that, they just got bounced at the first round by the Clippers. Eventually made the Western Conference Finals, you know, a year ago. Now, they've just fallen off a cliff completely going you know going from one you know two three games away from making the nba finals not even making the playing game is a huge drop off obviously definitely does sting to for them to see jen brunson leave and become a complete all-star player generally one of the best point guards in the nba definitely going to be a, you know a multiple all-star in his career you do get Kyrie Irving, though, which is a great duo obviously as a duo Offensively, that's phenomenal. Defensively wise, it's not very good for your two best guards, especially, you know, your two best players to not be very good on the defensive side. To be honest, their whole rim protection situation is quite bad. They don't even have, you know, a reliable center. Sean Holmes is okay. Not exactly the tallest. Rebounding wise, you're going to completely be struggling there. Get already rebounded. Luca is one of the best rebounding guards in the league. But at the same time, you're going to have to need rebounding and interior defense to win a championship. Also, the three-point shooting, which they definitely do have. But you need more than that. Not being the worst off-season from them, they have made some great additions. And now, you know, they have a, somewhat of a good-looking roster. But compared to the rest of the West, it's not exactly strong. You know, there's probably about 11 teams in the Western Conference that can make, you know, the playoffs. You know, the last eight teams. You know, never mind the 10. You know, one team will be missing out. First, I think the Mavericks will definitely make the play in 100%. Even sticking to the playoffs, it's honestly just depending on how this team works. See if Jason Kidd has improved as a coach. If he knows when to call timeouts, doesn't let you know the other team grab momentum and ultimately kill the hope in the players. But a team of Kyrie, Grant Williams, Tim Hardaway Jr., Seth Curry, Rashawn Holmes, Jaden Hardy, Dwight Powell, Josh Green, Derek Lively, who you did trade down for, I think that's a great pickup. I would, I would honestly start him at like up, up a center. You kind of have no other option. Like, what worse could you do than like Josh Green or Dwight Powell? I would start him. Then obviously Derek Jones, Dante Exum, which is nice, and then Markeith Morris, which you know, locker room guy. That's cool. Might not give you good minutes, but at the same time, it's better than nothing, and it is kind of solid. He is solid for a roster. It's okay, not generally not a top five team in the West. Maybe, probably not even top six. Luke and Kyrie, though, uh, you know that is a great deal. Duo. Kyrie is legit statistically in his prime. This is the statistically Kyrie has been the best of his career. I generally think he's in the, still in his prime. Such a phenomenal player. The defensive side, yes, is quite sketchy. Obviously, I am I am a big Kyrie fan, but now it's at the point where it's like okay. Almost every season, there there's tends to be a media drama where the media is, you know, and has a negative effect on the team Kyrie's on, and primarily around him. It's just how it is. Uh, it, it definitely does hurt the teams he's on 100%. Hopefully, nothing can happen this season because, you know, we want to see him succeed. I think Jason Kidd's really got to get the best out of the second unit. That's really, you know, when Luke and Kyrie have to be fresh and ready to go in the last 10 minutes of the game. This team's not that good. Luca has scored a lot of game winners last season, so you know almost all the games are close. That 60 20 20 game he had literally went to OT. They need them, you know, fresh in the last 10 minutes. Either the second unit will completely kill the lead, get lost, where Luke and Curry and you know Seth Curry will have to come in. Jane Hardy as well have to come in, score more points, get more tired, all that stuff. If they can get Buddy Healed, Buddy Healed looks like him, him and Indiana are gonna be parting ways. I want him on the Sixers. Come on, come on, Darmore, do it. If they can get him, that's, that's definitely incredible. But they need a center. If they can get, you know, see, a Clint Capella trade has always been rumored yeah, about. Like if they got Clint Capella, I genuinely think they'd make the uh, six seed. Obviously, elite, players bare minimum playing. Bare minimum playing. You could even say they can make the play right now, but you probably would. Clint Capella would definitely guarantee it because right now it is kind of a question mark. But, you know, another offseason of looking Kyrie, getting to know each other, the team forming well. 
Jason Kidd to improve as a coach, learn from his mistakes, get that second unit you know, going. Obviously, he is more of a defensive-minded coach on that Lakers team, which had a great defense. Just depends, because this is not the best group of players, especially for Luka. Obviously, who knows? If they you know, immediately underperform, I say if they don't it's make the second round, I think Luka think be so. won it now. It's, if you make the second round, you know, so you're losing fast, six you or know. seven games, but they're all just close. Just having basketball every day. Maybe it's like, you're on one more year, let's see what happens. Like Speaking I said, it's probably the last two seasons when that Luka can... will be on the Mavericks, in my opinion. Obviously, at the same time, Luka's that generational player. With the finals MVPs, you notice a pattern that it's just the best generation, like a like generational player, like the, the, you know, the solidified best players in the world. Only players left to win the finals MVP from this criteria, if that makes sense. Obviously, previous winners, Jokic, Steph, Giannis, LeBron, you got KD in there, Kawhi. I think, you know, the only players left are Embiid, Luka, Tatum, Devin Booker, Dame in there as well. You could put Jimmy Butler, you know, who's up next? I, to be honest, I think it's either between Devin Booker, Tatum, Luka, or Embiid. Those are, you know, the I, either four finals MVPs or champions to come in. That could definitely be Luka. Luka is, is definitely in his prime. Luka's been in his prime for about two, three years now. He could carry the team. He's not the most a flag or smoke, not, not a flag. Definitely not got the best stamina, best motor. He is athletic, I, I'd take that back. But the Mavericks really need to hope to make, a, like I said, at least a second round, or especially, won't even just be looking at himself, it'll be the media. All that's all the talk it'll be, exit exit press conferences, post-game press conferences, is this your last season? It'll all be forced onto it, and he'll be the next star, next star that you know everyone wants out. Obviously, he's been Dane for a while. Obviously, there's different players every year, but Luka would definitely be the next one. Now, my whole prediction, I think they'll make the playing game, make the playoffs, early, early exit, and things get heated. What do you think will happen?